Waves come in various shapes and sizes. However, one thing each wave has in common is that they all transport energy. Let's take a look at the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and amplitude, and the amount of energy transported. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Let's begin with a quick review of waves. The wavelength is the distance from crest to crest or trough to trough with a transverse wave, and from compression to compression with a longitudinal wave. Wavelength is represented by lambda. The amplitude is a distance from rest to crest, or the amplitude can be measured from the crest to the trough. Now, wave frequency is the number of waves that pass a fixed point in a given amount of time. The SI unit for wave frequency is the hertz, where one hertz equals one wave passing a fixed point in one second. Now, let's look at the relationship between these three and the amount of energy transported. As wave length decreases, frequency increases, and the amount of energy transported increases. As wave length increases, frequency decreases, and the amount of energy also decreases. And as amplitude increases, so does the amount of energy transported increases. And as amplitude decreases, so does the amount of energy transport decrease. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.